in this video, I will be recapping what I have done on the realm, because I have done some stuff without recording. Why I have done stuff without recording? I look, you forgot to record. Just kidding, I didn't forget. I just didn't feel like recording. I'm gonna, I played three Defron games before I switched to it, because I didn't really do much build-wise. I, I, I don't know why I thought I'd make that jump. But I did- Oh my god, you could have jumped to that grass block. I did not know that. I, I didn't do much build-wise. All I did was really build a house. Villager pin. Watch my- Watch Breaker. He chose the, um... He, I'm pretty sure it's Starbringer. Star I don't know. Space something. Sometimes his stress bar bugs out and when he when he has full stress he kind of blows up event uh, originally it was a villager house on the surface until he was in there and it blew up and so then it became a villager hole yeah i don't know if it wasn't too mad i got some free stone so he also blew up outside our nether portal now that area looks ugly. I have to fix it. Oh, and my friend, the Gamer Duck, aka Bag O Ducks, he has a YouTube channel too, so you should subscribe to him. Uh, he also joined us. He chose the uh, Nothing Race because he's boring. He decided to be a human and keeps calling himself Cell, saying he's perfect since he has no downsides. He also has the blacksmith class. I don't know what it does. I'm pretty sure just his tools have like infinite durability. Which is not that good actually because I have tree capitator because my lumberjack origin. Not origin, perk. I also gave everyone in the realm a re-roll. By re-roll, I mean re-pick of their origin because everyone chose dookie origins. So I am now the diviner. And... It is a mouthful to say, but I'll just recap it. I have a permanent aura, aka means you can, you know, on Java how those like shimmering arrows allow you to see things, things see Othric, see things through walls. That's pretty much what happens to my character, except it's purple because it's way cooler that way. And whenever I hit someone. It gives them that aura, and any damage I take is 50% of it is reflected back onto them. So let's say I, got, I get crit with a sword, 50% of that damage is going to them. So I can't kill myself to kill them, but it like le it's lethal to them. So like if I'm in if I'm in a fight with them and I hit them and start critting them while they're critting me, I'm technically doing 100% more damage. It also gives me it also gives me them a heart beast, but if you out if you out damage the heart healing, then it doesn't really matter about the heart beast. Oh, wait, what's I gonna say next? Oh, and I can't use potions at all because for every unique status effect I get, I have minus one heart. I lose a heart. That's honestly not that horrible. Could be worse. And we also added a new a new add-on to the realm, the Java PvP add-on. There's not really much to say about it. It's just Java PvP, so. Bright side is we don't have sweeping edge. Yippee! Yip yip yippee! I love sweeping edge. It makes bedrock farms actually viable. Oh, and the villager pin, one of, I, a zombie got in there and zombified all of them, since we had, since we had a nether portal literally right outside our nether spawn, I had to go to the fortress, get some blaze rods, craft the potions and golden apples and cure them, and then I, two of them were in a boat, and when one of them got, one of them got cured, the zombie, facing forward, the zombie was facing forward, it was in the front, I don't know how he was hitting him. Turned the one that just got cured back into a zombie. So I said, you know what? No. So I just killed the dude that got returned into a zombie because I did not want to deal with him. 
at all. It's so annoying. It takes forever. And I hate zombies. Also, I swear to gosh, my controller was trolling right there. Because I pressed up on the D-pad, not right on the D-pad. I keep forgetting which way is which. But oh well. We also, with my friend Bagot, with my friend GamerDuck, aka Bagot Ducks, we decided to go hunting for a trial chamber. It took us five hours, but we found one. I don't know why it took us five hours, because on every other server I have, every other world I've been on, I find them like they're candy. It's so silly. And here I am logging onto the realm, as you can see. I just learned how to cut stuff out. I know. How impressive of me. Yeah, that's the hole he blew up. Look how ugly it is. Hideous. Ugh. Blah. Here I am harvesting melons because I got a I got a villager that buys melons. And I don't know why, but I, I thought I was tweaking, so I thought melons would be one of the first trades I get. No, it's their level 3 trade. Ignore that pumpkin stack. Ignore it. It doesn't exist. Also, we added a texture pack. The hearts get kind of annoying at times, especially... I might, I might honestly expand this room. If we're being dead serious, this room is so small. It's a pain to do anything. Oh yeah, we could push the end. But I don't wanna, because I wanna be motivated to record. Here I am counting the villagers and all the missing and all the uh, and all the empty beds. Cause all of them should have a bed if they're here. Then I'm counting. There's three, and then there's one empty bed, and there's two villagers. I. I honestly don't know what's why. I'm pretty sure one of them claimed the bed up there where Jer where the gamer duck set a spawn. Here's my gilded armor as I check in the durability of it. Cause my boots need like it's so bad. I saw these. So I don't know what happened with it. I don't know what the texture pack does. This shows two of it. But oh well. I decided I decided to go on a stick selling journey. And I'll just see in a second. I have a crap ton of wood and a crap ton of sticks. You know those giant spruce trees? Since I have tree capitator, it takes one hit to, makes one block to mine them all. I spent like thirty minutes doing that. I don't ever think it was thirty minutes, I think it was less. All I know is I have a crap ton of logs I had like an entire inventory full which I think would be around 1,700 something logs which is a crap ton so I start trading capitalizing it as you should got more sticks honestly I might actually push the end cause this I need shulkers to make it so much easier. Also, that emerald land in the bed there. I don't see. I have not seen it yet. I don't know how I missed it. Or how it ended up laying there. I don't know how my crosshair teleported there. Keep trading. Keep capitalizing. Keep earning that bag. As you can tell, I don't actually trade for anything they have to offer. I I solely do this. Stop! Look at that dude trying to scam me. Fifty-seven six for one emerald is outrageous. Like what? Also, I have a maze because I did trial chambers. It took us like five tri five tries. Yeah, well, it took me five tries. The gamer that got it on his first try. I don't know how. It's bullcrap. Also, who... What made Mojang think bogs would be a good idea? Well, actually, the bog is a cool idea in general, but... What made them think it would be a good idea to let them shoot poison arrows? Give a skeleton, the same skeletons I've borderline aimbot, and give them poison arrows. 
Like, what was Mojang thinking here? Because, like, holy... They must have been on some stuff. I also have a villager that sells us Fortune 3. It took me, like, two hours to get him. I got so many unbreakings. It annoyed me. I found the pickaxe I currently have in my hotbar in a bastion. It was goaded. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 3. Woo. I don't know why I thought about repairing them. It wasn't even that, that bad of an image. I go with him. I won't realize it's the wrong one. See the emerald. Wake him up, because he's probably the right one. He was the right one. Put the boots on. Then I go over to put these in my secret storage area that I had forgotten that I traded two boots for the other day. So I had two boots laying in there. And realized I had wasted emeralds. Put that back. The reason why I have a secret area is because a dude on a dude on our realm, Arabic River, his grubby hands can't get enough of stealing. So I hide those because I don't want him touching it. I'll take one more place while we're going to the nether. Wait, no. Eight is sixteen. We can buy full diamond armor. So silly, so cool. I realize I don't have enough for nether, right? I realize I have to get to the nether again. This is from trading a blacksmith. It's so much armor. On his chest. Don't know why I'm looking at the chest actually, because there's nothing useful. I knew there's nothing useful. I realize I need food on me. Put that back. I was, I was gonna get off. I didn't realize I wanted to show you guys my house. I realize it's nighttime. Kicked a villager out of bed because they don't need sleep. I do. Went to bed. That villager's standing on top of me. He's lucky I don't kill him. No villagers were harmed in this. Besides for that one, he got what, he, he's gonna get what's coming to him. In any nitwits. My house is up here on the hillside because it looked really cool. Open it. It's very empty with like no lighting. I, I really like the windows and the stripped log backboard. Here's my three wide bed. Anyways, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It'd mean a lot.